Um, I guess I'll go ahead and go next, since I don't have too much yeah. to talk about. Go ahead. Because uh, it's mainly just more Assassin's Creed. I think all my previous statements stand. Um, a lot of the story is like very segmented by by kind of separate chapters where you're going around making alliances. They're kind of isolated um, storytelling experiences, which can be fun, but it kind of loses the overarching narrative. I think I did get a little bit back to the overarching, but there's a character with um, there's a character that kind of pulls like a 180, and I don't think the game necessarily sells it from like the last time you saw them, like how that transition happens. And I don't know if this is a spoiler thing. I don't know if people care about this or not. Um, so, so some of the latest, um, I guess the new RPG like Assassin's Creed games have had mm-hmm. segments where they take like the mythos of like of these, of these different mythologies and they kind of make it real, but it's actually fucking what, what are the, um, the ancient race of people, whatever in Assassin's Creed precursor Prothean. It's, it's all the same Ooh. shit. Precursor. Oh, what the fuck are they called? Ooh, if you would ask me this question like five years ago, I'd remember. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I can't remember those... if it was precursors or like the people who came or like the beans who came before. <sighs> no, I don't remember. <laughs> But um, but, but so they, they, they've kind of like made it within that universe. Like, oh, yeah, the cycl- Cyclops has actually existed, no. but it's like experimentations and like here's this Griffin and Sphinxes like they, they're all real, apparently. But because of this, uh, I'm going to use the wrong term purposely. The Protheans uh, put it there. Um, the just just a mass, mass effect. effect. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Like, you're right. That, I was that's, like, like, so that's exactly today. why I used it. <laughs> But um, so there's stuff like that. So the the Greek, not Greek, the um, the Norse mythology is real within the context of this game. Mm. And so there's a segment where you kind of go to um, where you go to Asgard and you're playing as a character from there. And it's just like this really weird segue because like the thing you do to go into there is actually from what I believe is a side quest. And it just completely throws any illusion of like narrative pacing from the base game just completely out the window. It's just like, yeah, you know that siege you were doing to like gain alliances? Forget that. We're going to do 10 hours in Asgard for this completely separate storyline. And I think that might tie in a little bit later on. I I did get a little bit spoiled on the game, so I kind of see where those connections are going with another character in the the baseline. Yeah, there's... um, Low key, there's there's some there's some weird stuff going on there. That's all I'll say about it. Did you just say it. what I thought I, you said? Uh, I saw a lot of stuff, <laughs> and like they I heard really you. go hard into some of that stuff, and it's weird because I feel like Assassin's Creed kind of abandoned that for a while. Yeah, I think um, so. Obviously, I think obviously the last one to go like super hard into the the uh, Prothean time, the Prothean stuff, whatever was. Um, it was, uh, it was Assassin's uh, Creed 3, and then they yeah. kind of dropped the ball like with 4 onwards. And I, I, I think the one that actively pissed me off the most was in Unity. Like, you're chasing after the... I don't even remember what's fucking plot of Unity. I don't remember shit. But you're looking after this thing, and it's like this big deal in the present timeline. And then the game literally ends with, oh, I don't know. I guess we lost it. I don't know. That was a fun <laughs> adventure, wasn't it? I'm so just like, funny. motherfucker, you it's wasted so my... Nothing comes of it. I'm like, really? Yeah. It's so... But yeah, so, I, I I stopped playing Assassin's Creed after Black Flag, um, yeah. because uh, oh, dude, they, you you missed out on the Assassin's Creed nostalgia train last week. It was beautiful. Well, after they killed off Desmond, I was like, okay, whatever. I don't know where this is going now. That sucks. But like, you might want to play like, Valhalla. But like, um, oh no, what's it called? No, oh, do they on. bring the white the the random ass boy back? I'm not gonna say. Bring my boy back. But anyways, uh, I I gave it one last. I gave it one last shot. I gave with Black Flag, and um, I I liked Black Flag. It was fun, but I was like, "Eh, I'm not super into the series anymore. Um, Valhalla looks fun. Mm -hmm. I played um, a bit of Odyssey because you can be a buff lesbian in it. My hell yeah, and I really identify strongly with that. Odyssey there is was, probably the best one of the, these three the DLC ones. was homophobic. Oh, yeah. It, Odyssey, for me, I put 
30 or so hours into Odyssey just doing side stuff. And oh when I checked my, I, when I checked my Ubisoft account and it said that I was only 15% through the story with 30 hours, I had, I, I had a panic attack and I stopped playing it. Yeah. Malaka. <laughs> there was too, too you know, much. There was when, too uh, much to get so overwhelmed. Next time I upgrade my computer, I might finish that and stream it or something. Cause oh, my computer I was uh, having trouble. That game is not optimized very well. I, I, I almost forgot. Um, on the Ubisoft store, um, what you play Ubisoft Connect, whatever whatever rebranding they're using it, um, they do better deals for their games on their own platform versus on Steam or um, the Epic Game Store because obviously they get the bigger cut because it's them. They're not taking a percentage out of it. Um, you can also use your Ubisoft coins, which you get by just playing games across any platform. It doesn't have to be on PC. You can spend a hundred of those coins to get a twenty percent off discount on your entire cart. So oh if you God, load up, you can get stuff for is. super cheap. So I would I would recommend anyone who's playing on PC, please buy it on UPlay. It's not mm-hmm. that bad anymore. It is not bad. It's completely yeah, functional. It's a lot better. Better than Origin. Oh yeah, fuck Origin. <laughs> oh God. But um, aside from Assassin's Creed, um, Loki having some shenanigans going on in it. If you keep um, saying Loki, I'm gonna strangle you through the screen because you're spoiling it for me, and I don't and I don't appreciate it. I I don't know what you're talking about. 